first of all, uh, our family. Um, this is my, myself, my wife Lindsay, and our two boys, uh, Joshua and Tommy. Um, Joshua on the right is 11. Um, she's going into middle school next year, yay. Yeah. <laughs> and Tommy on the left is eight years old and likes to pose for pictures. <laughs> and they're actually, as you speak right now, both at their first um, ever orthodontic appointment. So please send referrals back. <laughs> so myself, um, I'm originally from the great state of Ohio. I uh, grew up in a small town right about there called Greenville. Um, that makes me a big fan of the Ohio State University, so good luck at But I didn't go to college there, I went to college in Miami, Ohio. So I did four years of undergraduate work there. I uh, got my Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science. Um, graduated from there in May of 2001 and moved to Missouri to go to Logan uh, Chiropractic College in August 2001. Um, a lot of people ask me about what does it take to become a chiropractor, what's the schooling like to become a chiropractor, so I'd probably cover that real quick. Um, so chiropractic school is it's 10 semesters long. Um, so most colleges you'll go fall semester or spring semester, they're off in the summer. So with chiropractic you go year round. So you go fall semester, spring semester, then a summer semester. So they call them trimesters, which is kind of weird. Um, but there's, there's 10 trimesters, so it takes three and a third years. Um, and the course load is pretty heavy. It's a, you average 32 um, hour class hours per, per trimester. Wow. So here's a sample. This is, I brought this off of Logan's website. So this is the third trimester right now. So they go to school from 7.30 in the morning until 5.20 in the afternoon, one hour break. Pretty much all just all anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, all kinds of fun stuff. So that's kind of what it's like. So, yeah. um, so I want to show you my office location. Uh, so we're at the intersection of Highway K, so here's Highway K, here's Highway N, there's 364. In the northeast corner right there, there's a Walgreens, Steak and Shade, Madison, Madison's Cafe, um, Cecil Whitaker, so a lot, of, a lot of restaurants and then us. So that's where we're located at. Um, when I came up with the name, the name for my practice, O'Fallon Crossing Chiropractic, it was cleverly named after the O'Fallon Crossing Shopping Center that we're located in. <laughs> so, but when I, when I made that name, I thought, oh, you know, O'Fallon Chiropractic, when someone goes to Google and searches, then they'll find me first. But I guess SEO is a little different than that, right? So, <laughs> a little more complicated than that. But. All right, so I want to tell you a couple stories uh, about patients from my office. Um, so this, and I changed their names for a couple reasons, but this is uh, Tina. So Tina um, first came to see me on December 21st, 2018. Um, the date's kind of important because it was, it was the last Friday before Christmas. And it was, I was uh, leaving that afternoon to go to Ohio, so I was only working in the morning. It was a really busy morning. Um, but she called in, and actually, as a matter of day, so my, my reception was, was off that day. So I, I, she took her phone call. And you know she had a terrible migraine going on. She, and she's been having migraines for two years. Um, tried all kinds of different stuff for it. Um, she had two two boys, nine and eleven year olds, kind of similar to me. So I resonated with her. But um, we got her treated that day. She got a lot of relief just from that first first visit, which was great. And then we got her on a plan and pretty much got completely got rid of her, her migraines. So um, this is her um, story that she wrote. Kind of long. I'll try to read for you. Uh, when coming to see if this would work for me, I was desperate. I've taken medication, I've seen an eye doctor, and a ear and throat doctor. I've also been on allergy medication, tracked all food and drinks. This includes cutting out chocolate, beer, and wine. Uh, I had migraines on and off for days at a time. As a mom of two active boys, I was missing out on so much, but trying my best. I called this office in a state of stressed out mess. Uh, they got me the same day, trying to help me. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I was not sure what to try. We did the x-rays and found the root of the problem. Uh, after my first treatment, which was in the middle of a migraine, I felt relief. And after following a treatment plan for me, I have not had a migraine since. Mm -hmm. and my, my husband and the kids have me back. And that's the important thing for me is people getting their life back. So whether it's taking care of their kids, getting back to work, whatever it is, that's the stuff that you know, gets me excited about helping people every day in my office. So. Next story, um, so this is Heidi, she's a 29 year old, um, and she is a teacher, so she's an you know, important job for you know, teaching kids. And she gave me lower back pain radiating to her left leg and foot. Uh, also some upper back pain and some headaches, so a little bit of everything with her. Um, and you know, she couldn't work out, you know, a few things like that. But um, she had some other stuff going on that she didn't, didn't even tell me about. So when she wrote her, her success story, uh, before getting chiropractic treatment from Dr. Hatch, I was in terrible pain throughout my back and left leg. Even sitting would hurt. After only a couple of weeks of treatment, I began feeling better and could even start working out again. Uh, my pain is now almost completely gone, and I've even gotten relief from constant headaches, breathing issues, and IBS symptoms. So she didn't even tell me about what got better. 
Um, chiropractic care has helped my health in ways that I never could have imagined, and it will be something I continue with, with uh, on a monthly basis to keep myself in the best shape possible. So, um, that's, that's the great thing about chiropractic, so we're taking care of the, the spine and nervous system, which controls everything in your body, so um, if other healthcare conditions can actually see improvement in those, because we're taking care of that, taking care of the whole body. And the last one here, uh, John. So John he was 67 years old when he came to me. Um, he had severe low back pain for nine years. Nine years, okay? Um, and he had tried all kinds of stuff, heavy medication, surgery, a um, little bit of relief, but nothing, nothing took care of it. Um, and he uh, was kind of skeptical when he came in to see me because he'd been dealing with it for so long and he thought he tried everything and didn't think I would be able to help him. But uh, he finally came in to see me and um, got him on a plan and helped him out quite a bit. He also, he likes to uh, hunt and shoot his, his bow. Um, and when he first came to see me, he hadn't done those things for, for several years. So um, this is his story. I first came to see Dr. Had and I was in excruciating pain for taking uh, 10 milligrams of oxycodone tablets in combination with Celebrex. I previously had lower back surgery in July 2014. I was feeling pretty good for about eight months, but the pain, back, pain came back with a terrible vengeance the next March. Uh, I've been seeing a pain management specialist for quite some time, and my condition was not improving. It was getting worse because of arthritis in my lower back. Um, when I started with Dr. Hatton, I was very skeptical of chiropractic. <coughs> After going through a three month regimen of treatments with him, my back had significantly improved. Uh, I'm not cured, but I'm able to walk without a pain now, and also I'm no longer having to take opioid pain kit. Oh, that's wow. awesome. So, um, so yeah, he's back to shoot his bow, and so now he comes in once a month, and he we'll spends half time in Florida, so we've got a chiropractor in Florida to, uh, to help him out as well. So, um, so that's the last story. That's everything I have. Awesome.